This is Mr. H's sixth hour class doing their translation of The Midnight Ride by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Yo, listen up. I'm going to tell you a story about Paul Revere. On, the 18th of, on, the, on April 18th, 1775, do you remember that famous day and year? Paul Revere says to his friend that if you see the British coming, to signal me by hanging a lantern in the bell tower and I will start telling people about the British army is coming. He said good night and with muffled oar he silently rode to the Charlestown shore. Just as the moon rose over the bay the boat was rocking wide as it was docked. The Somerset British war fighting man a empty ship as a bar blocked the moon it looked like it was stuck in a prison. A huge black boat that was huge by its own reflection in the tide. Meanwhile, his friends stood out in the street looking and watching with eager ears, telling silence around him. Him, he hears the movement of men at the bare door, the sound of arms and the tramp of feet. And the practice march of the British soldiers going to their boats. Then Paul Revere, cla Paul Revere's friend climbed the tower of the Old North Church, up the stairs to the bell tower, and scared the pigeons from their nest on the dark rafters that made moving shadows along the wall. As the man looks down, he sees the cemetery and all the tombstones. In silence, so deep and still, that he could hear, like a guard's footsteps, the night wind blew to each and every house. And seeming to whisper, everything's okay. A moment to feel the calmness of the place, hour, and the secret dread of the empty bell tower and the dead. All of a sudden, his mind drifts away where the river meets the bay. There's a black line, and on the, black, on the line, he can see a bunch of boats. Meanwhile, ready to ride, boots on and saddled up, with a pace on the opposite shore, walk Paul Revere. He brushed his horse's side, now staring at the land in front of him, then violently stomped on the earth and tightened his saddle. But he looked with excited eyes in the bell tower of the Old North Church. As Paul Revere saw the bell tower of the Old North Church rise above the cemetery, it looked dark, ghostly, and gloomy. But then he sees the glimmer of light, which was his friend's signal. As he looks at the tower, a second light is seen, and Paul Revere is off. In the night, a clacking of hoofs you could hear in a village. And in the dark, there was a shape moving, pebbles being trampled. It was like if you could see sparks. Then suddenly, Paul Revere's horse passed by, fast and fearless. That was it. But in the open darkness, there is a man's desire for a new country. And as they traveled, the horse's speed had left sparks on the way. Leaving the village down a hill besides the Mystic River, seeing trees and hearing sounds under his horse. It was 1 a.m. when Paul Revere rode his horse into the town of Lexington. As he rode into the town, he saw a gold weathercock shine in the moonlight. When he rode past the meeting house, it was dark and empty. It seemed spooky. This is where the war would start. It was 2 o'clock when he made it to the bridge in Concord Town. He heard the cry he heard the cry of bird and chirping of the sound of the birds. Singing in the singing in the trees he felt he felt he, he felt the cold air of the morning breeze on the on his face and one person in his bed safe asleep, who at the war would be the first to fall. Then one, then on the day would be the would be lying dead. Shot, by, shot and killed by the British Army and troops. You probably already know the rest about how the Redcoats shot and ran away, or when the Patriots shot back, sending Redcoats running away and chasing Redcoats, stopping only to re reload their muskets. So through the night for Paul Revere, throughout the night, Paul Revere cried, cried out his warning to every town, house, and farm, a yell of defiance without fear, a faint voice in the darkness, and a knock at the door. Paul Revere's words will be remembered forevermore. For born on this night a long time ago and remembered on through history, his he struggled as he ride he struggles as he rides on and wakes the people as he rides past for them to hear his riding his horse through the night delivering his famous message. <laughs>